Hey there everyone, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Wimming's Redux, and yesterday you saw the lime green disclaimer, I'm sure I said some stupid things about how far along we are in Lunatic. We do not have three levels left, in fact including this level we have six, but the text was corrected, we regret the error, and so I don't know what I was thinking, I was just, I think I was caught up in the hype of getting two talismans in one video. But there is no talisman to be earned here today on this level, which is going camping, let's go camping. Uh, I have never beaten this level legitimately. This is going to be like acrophobia, but even worse. Because I've never beaten this legitimately because, yeah, they give you a digger in the Genesis version, I think. And you can basically just dig, dig, build, build, and turn everyone around to go to the exit. You don't have to deal with all of this. But we're going to be dealing with all of this. I think they have taken out the tools. Now, how are we going to get people turned around? I see a little ledge here. I'm going to try something uh let's see let's okay let's see what builders it's gonna take to get to the end here uh maybe one two Ooh, that's gonna be a lot of builders to the end maybe actually uh i th don't think we're gonna get up there in one let's see though okay first of all we want to divert everybody else away from disaster or or what we maybe want to do. How close can we get to the exit without dealing with any of this? I have a feeling we might have to send someone over this way. But I don't want to if I don't have to. So where can I keep people safe? And I can't... I can't go all the way around and then bash a blocker to freedom. Because there's steel keeping me from doing that. So I'm going to try to go a little bit around for, um, okay, let me see real quick just how long it takes. This is going to be a little bit weird. I'm going to go ahead and put the blocker right here and I'm going to see what I can do with, oh no, I can't do anything right there. That's worrisome. Actually, so then let's not even worry about going over this way. Let's put our blocker somewhere else. Like, maybe... Here. Alright, and we're gonna have to find a way to free him later. What is that way gonna be? I think what we might be able to do is... Okay, he should be able to seal this off without this guy dying, I think. Maybe. That's, uh... Okay, good. Yeah, he can do that. And so now this guy can also do this and get this sealed off. That's an interesting philosophy. Oh boy, yeah, I've never I've never even tried to engage with this level, I don't think. So here is another problem. This should okay, this should now give us only Huh. What's the floater for? There's no distance here where you can go curse splat from. Huh. One, two. Okay, you gotta keep somebody sealed in some way, somehow. And so then you... F okay, so this guy... Maybe he builds up to here or something? And then does that give him the leeway later to free his friend by bashing? I don't know how that all comes together. This is really... Well, I wasn't expecting that. I do have to say that. But everything is sealed up for an eventual something or other. So how do you... What, what would even be the point in getting these guys out of here? Maybe you bash here... Okay. I'm going to try bashing right here to make a loop for this guy. No, actually, sorry. I need somebody turning around. Somebody is probably looking at this. Somebody who has actually beaten this level and is going like, what? What are you doing, Roundy? And you know what? I'm just as confused as you are. But the fact is, I'm trying things. Okay. 
Okay, so he's gonna bash through there, and he's gonna bash through there to buy himself some time. Okay, I think he may be able to do that. But I only have two builders left. The problem there would be, yeah, that buys the wrong kind of time, but it does get him quite... Okay. Let's see. And can I even bash through enough to make him... No. Maybe I could have done that if I'd have put the blocker down there, but he doesn't fall down there. He falls down to here. So, mm, this is an exercise in turning around that I know next to nothing about. And I didn't even build from the right height right here. I all kinds of messed that up. Well, hold on. I didn't all kinds of mess it up. Well, I at least attached that. But I don't think that's enough of a step for him to walk up if I do that. So this is a really big failure. This is a really big failure. I chihuahua. Okay, this is going to seem weird, but I'm actually going to make him come out at a release rate of 99. Because I'm going to put the th second lemming. I'm going to put him blocking right here. Okay, no, I actually need... Well, maybe that's too close. Because what I need is for him to build so he doesn't die. And I need him to block. Oh, that's cram tight. That is... Oh, that's actually really yucky. But he's already walking off in the direction that I want him to walk. Things are going okay so far, I think. So I've gotten them separated, which is kind of what I want. And now I want him to build up to here, which is where I'm going to bash through. I'm going to go ahead and get him started now. The earlier, the better. Because this guy is going to build as well, but I'm going to make him hit his head. But I'm going to make him do it at the last possible second. And I'm going to use the physics engine. Okay, so I can build from maybe right here and not activate it. No, that doesn't seem right. No, that is absolutely right. Wow, that's amazing. I didn't know that that was the way it worked. So let's turn on uh, normal non-EGA colors. And then get... Okay, yeah. Get building right there. So we're waiting for the other lemming to turn around and hit his head, which he has done. The mini-map seems to indicate that he's walking to the left. At which point, I need to... Pay attention to him. All right, I'm going to bash through to free him. And what that's going to do... No. What that's going to do... He's going to drop, and he also needs to hit his head. So... Down with him. Okay, they're coming pretty closely together in rapid succession. So hopefully what I can do is seal this off before they get to him. I think I'm going to do it. That looks good to me. Yes, there we go. The, he's going to make it. And they're all three going to make it to the exit. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. But it looks like it works. It works for me in any event. There we go. Flush with the step. And they all three walk into the exit together. As nature and the designer of this level intended. So hooray. I have solved. Let's go camping. Yay me. That's one down. Five left to go in Lunatic. We are entering the home stretch, which means we're going to be hitting probably some yikes on a bike levels. Lemmings in a situation. I kind of... This one seems vaguely familiar. I can kill two. Yet another brick design level. I seem to remember this one having exactly the amount of builders you need. Kind of a, kind of a combination of a lot of different levels here um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go athlete for this oh yeah they come out at a 99 release rate so i don't have much choice but to try to maybe get them going good so how do i want to do this i think one of the ones i want to kill i think maybe the way i want to do this is a bomber for this can they all come out safe if i bomb in a place yeah, they can all hit that, so I have all my digging tools for for whatever shenanigans I got going on here. 
So, so yeah. Athlete Ahoy. And he's going to need to... I think he can just turn, turn himself around however he wants. Because we're going to have them falling down into here. And then they're not going to step up over this at any point. So I think this is just for my turning around benefit and pleasure. Okay, good. Whew. I was like, what are you doing not turning around? Wasting one of my builders. How dare you? How dare thee? I grieve with thee. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What's the best way to go about this? I only have one basher. So... Uh, maybe I should come from, like, right here and go... Okay, let's go... Let's come from, like, right here and go twosies. I think this is a little more than a two-width area. So, let's unpause. And I think... Yes, there we go. That's great. Okay, that is really nice looking. So... The only thing, though, is going to be getting people to turn around onto it. And I do not want to waste my builders if I don't have to. I think I can back up a step and make this work. Can he walk up that? What? Well, hold on. Is that a head hitter portion? Okay, yeah, he hits his head there. Okay, he had to climb there. That's a little unfortunate. That's going to waste a ton of builders, because i got to go up into here. Well, I have a digger. I guess I could... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. This is... Okay. So he quits. What does the shadow say here? I should be able to do this pretty fine. Okay, yeah, he can do that if he wants. I don't see a whole lot of harm in that. Okay, and then he hits there. I think that should be a good walking. But I think I've made it so I can turn around and hit my head. Yes. Okay, good. He walked up that. Okay, that's very good. I think I kind of set that up how I wanted. Now comes the tricky part. I have two diggers and one blocker. I guess, in theory, I could send... Okay, do I have to build up over this? Uh, So, build up here. I'm going to try not to do that for now. I'm going to try to just dig right here. I've got a climber and a floater, and I have a feeling I may need to use them both. So, if I get... Well, if I just bomb him right here... Hold on. I could send another guy, and it's not a big deal. I would have to turn him around with a bridge, and that would give me six to get up to the exit. That's a narrow hole. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue trying to dig. Not climbing up tiny walls that I have no control over. Uh, okay, what's the minimum drop distance for a... Yeah, there we go. I wanted the minimum drop distance for a full bash. Now, I would like this to segue into a full bridge build, but I don't know if I'm going to get my way there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not going to work out, I don't think. There is no way to do this to where I don't end up hitting. So maybe what I want to do is dig through here and go down here and connect to here. But that would require building up to here. Well, I could always just dig lower. Uh, there's no reason not to... Okay, so why don't you go lower there? If I can bash out through here, that might be too low actually. Because I don't see a way where I could get in up through here. Yeah, because he would end up... He ends up hitting his head no matter where from. So let's go back and go even lower. Let's try to get... Let's try to get in a spot where he won't hit his head. I think that might be good. Okay, that's... 
Um, I don't really like that either. I need it to connect to this without hitting right here, and I don't think that's going to be possible. I am not allowing myself to do something here. Um, actually, what I could probably do... I think the best way might be to clear things out for the next climber floater guy. The athlete. That's what he's called. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and allow for this to happen. And then I can send another guy over. He's going to have to turn around. Okay. You pop. Hopefully he pops all the way through that little... Mmm... If that's the case, he can probably just fall in the... No. Back up. If that's the case, he can probably just fall in the quicksand. Okay, so let's send another one over. Um... Okay, you come... You come with me. You're the new... You're the new man of the hour. Come on! What? What are you doing? Do the things that I actually assign you. Did I send the wrong guy? Did I hire the wrong guy for this job? I sure hope I didn't. I hope I hired someone very capable. So I have six builders to get up into here now. This might be another one like where Lemmings Dare, where I have to, where I end up having to, you know, uh, look at my own solution. Because I'm probably ridiculously overcomplicating this. Uh, what's the farthest back point I can come from and not hit my head? There we go. Okay. So there you go. Alright. The idea here is I need to get in. I need to get up into there with two builders left. If I can't attach right there. Okay. I need to be able to attach to the... Nope, I can't do it cannot do that do I need to build from right here and let him climb up here then maybe do a yeah I bet what I need to do is build right here climb dig maybe maybe and then maybe bash climb up here bomb right here I'm gonna try it I'm gonna see how it looks okay so he gets up there climb up the wall this looks pretty sound to me, but then again, I'm no genius. I'm just doing the best I can in this crazy mixed up world. And then I'm going to bash out of here. I'm going to bash myself out of this little number. And then once he climbs there, I'm going to have him pop through. That's a great spot to pop through. That'll get everybody up in there. So now let's send that athlete back over. You're actually going to float this time, right? Right? You sure are. I know you are because you're my buddy. You're my friendo. All right. And then we've got this happening. Going to go ahead and... Nope, that's too far up. We need to start building from here. See how far we can get on two bridges, actually. This is going to take a little more than two bridges, I think. So, go ahead and... Actually, he can probably just fall down into here and make a, a make an exact bridge. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, we can do this in two bridges. So, then we end up going three, two... Is it going to take three to get to here? I think we should safely... Okay. Okay, I'm seeing the problem here with this. Maybe I should have come up a little higher on this little part. So that when I build up to here, they have a place to turn around and not die in. Yeah, I need to back that up real quick. Okay, my problems with this level went way farther back and were way farther reaching than just not having enough builders. First of all, I gotta make sure nobody walks off to this side when I dig them out. So when they dig here, this should hold them in right here. So I decided to start from right here, build up to here, bash through here. And this should be not big enough for them to step over. 
went ahead and dug through the pole like I did, but then I built up to here straight from the pole instead of bashing to end it because I had used my basher here. That used an extra builder, but I think I should be fine because I'm going to do another turnaround right here. Another turnaround that will also keep these lemmings safe when I go to build them to the exit. So, yeah, once they turn around right here. Okay, and I need to also give them a way to get up here. So there we go. So, yeah, I have four builders that should be sufficient for the task at hand. And now I need him to get high up enough. There, now I can send my other guy. All right, so he's going to float down. And I'm going to have to turn him around once again with a builder. Build onto this little hook right here. So three builders should be enough to get up to the exit by my estimation. So like what I have here. So they're all set up in a nice little way. So I get up to here. So yeah. So if I let them out now, they drop here. They walk up to here. He blocks. That's the other one that I kill. And they come back here and drop onto this thing. Hit this. Yes, they're safe if I come back this way. So I can use an extra insurance builder to make sure I have the building height right. So what I'm going to do is just make him a blocker right there. Okay, that should do it. So now they'll all come through. They'll all pile out in various directions. There we go. And one of them is going to be the lucky, lucky builder that saves all the rest of his friends. And he's going to do that from approximately right here. There we go. And see the rest of his buddies walk back. And then they will drop through this little hole. But then this laps onto here and then they won't walk over this. Absolute perfection. There we go. Oh my gosh. That level was harder than I remember it being. I feel like some stuff has been changed but maybe it hasn't and maybe i'm just old and i'm losing brain cells neurons aren't firing the way they used to i'm way more inclined to believe that that's the case but man we spent a long time on two levels today so but that seems about right because i feel like we're getting right to the end of the lunatic levels where some of these are getting really nitty gritty and really granular and yeah this is gonna this is gonna be Basically, other than the talismans, the final test right here.